you all, I just made some bacon, which is this fake meat. If you follow me on Snapchat and you've, then you've seen this video um, on there of me making it. For now, I'm just browning it um, on a skillet. But basically, you have to take this vital wheat gluten flour and season it really good. Add some oil in it, some water, and then knead the hell out of it for like five minutes. And then break it up in pieces and boil it. So I boiled it in like some seasoning. But you can use veggie broth. I didn't have any so I just seasoned some water. Yeah, I'm going to make some gravy with that. Let this brown up a little bit longer. Baby girl is asleep. She's taking a nap. And I'm going to make my gravy with this yellow curry sauce. Which I have a video on how to do um, eggplant. Like fried eggplant with the curry gravy so um yeah that's that i'm gonna eat it with some rice and some corn now i'm gonna go grocery shopping like this wednesday and get a lot of vegetables but all i have is corn right now and potatoes so okay come on grab it there you go she acting fussy <laughs> And I'm working on my planner. So this is the planner that I had last year, 2017. And it's the um, the 365 planners. And they're so cool because you can take out like the page and move it around and do stuff. So this planner was from last year, but I was able to, like I didn't use all the sheets. So I was able to like move around some stuff like you see like this is from last year but there's still like some blank sheets in here that I had left over when I wasn't using it like all the time so I had blank sheets so what I was able to do was I looked at the months like okay so this is what March no April so I had ended up looking at the ones I had back here like I got June I had December and like November and October back here and actually like you know how every year like the days like shift over like so last month october the way october's calendar was laid out was the same as this year's april so i moved october's calendar up here for april and then i just changed the label because this the calendar came with this i mean the planner came with these so basically i'm just you have something you want to add to that <laughs> so basically I'm just shifting everything from last year that I didn't use up to the front so I won't have to buy any new sheets and it's so easy because you can just put them back in here I love it so that's what I'm doing um I'll probably have enough stuff for like at least like the next three months and then I'll just go back and buy some new stuff but hey why not use them so like this whole calendar like I didn't write anything on here and yeah so and I got a blank one, so I just wrote in the dates, but you can get one that's already pre-made. So like this is from last June, and I can just, what I've been doing is, so let's see. This one, I really, I really didn't care, y'all. I just, bless you, bless you, fatty. Maddie's acting so stank right now. I mean, she okay, but she just woke up not too long ago. I don't know whose little niece she is today, but this is the bib that I could find. I like onesies with words and stuff on them, but yeah, we got to put a bib on over it. So covers up the words. Ain't that right, Fatty? Ain't that right? Yay! Maddie! Yay! <laughs> so this is what I'm working on. Like I said, I just used this white out to white out anything from last year that I didn't need. Um, I like these because like say you can block it up. So like I could have like school stuff up here and then mommy stuff and YouTube stuff. Um, I can even like like use my pen and like you know put a line across and put like YouTube stuff and workout stuff. Do like meals and everything like that and then have like school stuff and then you know 
errands or budget anything like that that i want to do and then they have inserts that you can buy to add to this so they have like fitness inserts and it has like little water bottles on it and you just kind of like mark off each time you drink a cup of water like and then they have like budget inserts then they have like to-do list inserts that you can put in here and they also sell the hole punches they sell a hole puncher like this so you can hole punch anything and put it in here um like in between everything so like i said i'm using the one from last year and i really like it it's a nice size it's not too big not too little and pretty awesome y'all it's like been a long time coming of me like actually getting into this planner and do what i need to do and what i want to do but i'm doing it now kim doing it now ain't that right maddie no time like the present baby <laughs> so yeah that's that y'all i just washed my hair um i put on my instagram and on my snapchat i took a photograph of what i've been using on my hair I am going to be retwisting it soon and very soon. I need to do my eyebrows, y'all. Hmm. So, yeah, I just wash my hair. What is that? Is that conditioner like sitting on my hair? I put a deep conditioner in and I wonder did it not rinse all the way out? Anyway, somebody asked me if I've been having some temple shedding. Um not necessarily but there is a spot on my hair that i think is kind of a little patchy i gotta find it but i just i like to use black jamaican castor oil on my locks um like just right around the perimeter of my hair to help with um to thicken my hair up even more around the edges so yeah that's my hair freshly washed conditioned and i also make sure that i separated my roots so that they won't get all meshed up and i've been noticing that my hair does get really meshed at the roots like super easily now see right there it's kind of thin like at the root i don't know yeah like they call it like temple shedding after you have your baby some women start to have shedding around their edges but i'm just gonna keep using this black jamaican castor oil and massaging my scalp and working on not putting too much stress on my scalp but honey, that look a little. Hmm. That's why it's good to have a lot of hair. You can just keep it moving. So it is later on in the nighttime, and this little person is fighting her sleep. I had her laying in the bed, but honey, she was rolling all over the bed. So I just brought her in my room, in our room for a little bit. She had a bath and everything, so she is ready <laughs> play too much so i decided to um put like a little section in here from my budget so i just whited out the top parts and then i put expense so it'll be like car no you know groceries whatever and then how much it costs and then the actual due date and then the actual pay date meaning it's due on the 12th but we're going to pay it on the 10th because i get paid on the 7th type of deal so and I'm gonna put it um, in here, right at the beginning of the month, like right at this part. So it's ready for the start of the month and I can keep coming back to it. Uh, and then I'll just also put on our calendar what's due and then things like that. And also put it throughout the uh, month on here when it's due. So it's like in three different spots. Um, did you have, did you want to add anything to that? Yeah. I got these binder clips from the dollar store a minute ago. And I just like to use them. So look, I had something over this and then I took it off. And then I was like, oh, look at that. I had like a sheet of paper clipped on here and so i found that but what i like to do is i like to like clip the month and then like i might clip like a bill or something on here or like a receipt or something like that that i need to have for that month oh and also with this um planner i love this so this is just like at the beginning of each month and it just gives you really cool things to like reflect on 
for the month holidays important dates birthdays which i think is pretty cool <laughs> that's cool i like this for june my mom's birthday is in june so yeah of course i don't have my birthday month july so really when i do go and get um some more of these dividers and calendar sheets i only need to get like three months worth but i think they're selling like six months in a pack or something like that so yeah anyways you all that is what we're working on and this little person decided to swaddle herself <laughs> that baby is so silly if y'all hear like noise in the background that's her um sleep sounds because like i said i try to get her to sleep in her own bed but she wanted to toss and turn around in her own bed so, so i brought her in our bed you my little funny baby my funny baby you took your bath you ate and you got on the boob and you still want to act like this yeah i'll just let you be so i want to show y'all this little sleep sack that maddie has um her aunt got it for her Catherine. you all know Catherine. really madison and i just let her sleep underneath it with a with oh she needs to get changed i just sleep um she sleeps <laughs> she is so goofy when she's sleeping but i let her um she sleeps in a onesie um tonight she has on a short sleeve onesie and some socks because i don't want her to get too cold because it's really thin and trust and believe y'all this baby gets so hot in her sleep like super hot so um i want her to have too much on but i want her to still be warm and so yeah, this is a great investment i think to get one of these like vest type of sleep sacks 